Hi guys, um, in my earlier video I said hi girls and I see that we have some lovely male uh, crocheters now as well so I'm just going to keep it open by saying hi guys. Um, so welcome to Fresh Off The Hook Wednesday. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it because I should have been home at 5 but we had a work meeting at 7 and so I just decided to stay on and work um, until the meeting because otherwise I'm just getting home and then having to leave again. So it's now eight o'clock and I'm tired. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. So fresh off the hook is my lovely beret. And um, I did make this for a gift, but, but it's slightly small. The woman has a bit of a big head. So I don't, it's slightly small on mine. So I think it will be too small on hers. But there is a judo, uh, fair coming on for all the kids uh, that go to judo in Galway and my aunt texted me and asked would I donate a piece for the auction so I'm going to donate this hat and I'll see what else I have that is all I have off my hook <laughs> so I'm going to take uh, a page out of uh, Beth and Texas's book and just show you my work in progress so I I was in town on Saturday Oh, I don't, I'm trying to just get these, sorry. I was in town on Saturday and I found this lovely pattern. Now I have this pattern but in short sleeves. Um, and I like the long sleeves and also there's a little added back to it. So for 90 cent I, I got it. So I said I'm going to make this in red for Christmas. So I started it and I'll show you how much I got, uh, got done. Please never mind the blanket that's on the back of the couch. Um, I usually put a blanket up there because that's where my cat Hope uh, sleeps. And because she had her back and leg amputated two years ago, um, she doesn't go out as much, which means uh, there, there'd be a lot of fur and different things. You know, she, the wind doesn't blow all the fur off her um, like would other cats. So I just keep a blanket up there so that I can just keep changing the blankets then every week. and. Uh, that way there's not cat hairs all over the place. Thank God for Dyson Hoovers. Uh, <laughs> takes up all the hair off the carpets. But anyway, so this is uh, what I've done so far. Um, and that's it, you just keep working it lengthwise and it's it's got the makeup at the back so you, you bring it forward and you bring it up over your arms and join it. So I started making that really excited and then, if you saw my, my latest video that I put up yesterday, my crochet books, I went hunting for to find my crochet books so I could show you the video. And what did I find? <laughs> the Christmas shawl, shrug that I started making last year, and I never finished it. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you. I had it in my bag, I brought it to work with me. And I, it's such a mess right now because Last year I, I was a different size than what I am now. I was a bit bigger last year. So when I tried it on last night, it was too big. And I didn't want to go, because I'm making it from my head, I didn't want to obviously go tearing it all back and because so much work had been done in it. So I just kind of had safety pins in where I was taking it in. And, um, so I'm just, that's kind of the gist of it so far. <laughs> It just looks, it makes sense in my head, but I've done so much work with it now. If I was asked to recreate this, I couldn't. So that's um, another thing that's, that's, that's what I've done. I didn't want to start this when I had this already halfway made. So I put this one down so I could finish this one and then go back to that one. And I've left this project on my coffee table so that it's the driving force for me to get this one finished. If you know so what I mean. So I got I mean. that pattern on Saturday and I also got this one. It's just like a bit of a cardigan, but I really think it's pretty. And I'd like to do that in red as well for Christmas. I love Christmas. <laughs> so that's it, guys. So I'm going to Okey go. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.